Welcome back. Today, I'm installing Dungeon Keeper, a classic DOS game from 1997. I'll show you a quick and easy way to install the bundled version I got from good old games on OpenSUSE Linux Tumbleweed using Lutris. I'll also play through the first level to make sure everything is working right. Quick summary for the game. As the Dungeon Keeper, you and your unsightly minions defend your dungeon against rival keepers and valiant knights. And maybe other foes? I installed Lutris via Yast from the game's tools sub repository? Check out other methods for installing this game and other games like it on different Linux distros like Flatpak Lutris, DOSBox Staging, or Bottles. Let's get this classic up and running. Okay, so I clicked on the Dungeon Keeper tile and we begin. So, there's a fork in the road. You can go with the vanilla DOSBox install, or you can go with, uh, Keeper FX 1.0.0 and good old games on Wine? Well, I think the DOSBox version runs on Wine too. This one sounds the most fun. Some sort of mod encapsulating the original game, it seems. I'm gonna go with this one. Oh, and there's the third choice, and it's auto-generated, and it looks boring. Right, install. Right, install. I don't remember there being this splash screen the last time I played 15 years ago. So much to click on. Let me see the readme. Okay, let me move that into view. Okay, settings. What resolution do I want? Will it scale? Movie resolution? Will this scale? Is it going to be a tiny little box? Full screen? Windowed mode? Sounds? Save? Okay, start. What's all of this? I just want the regular game. This is like 20 games. Ever smile. Whole map is mapping. Let's start. All right, let me get a feel for this again. I always dislike the jagged walls. Okay, which option is which again? I think this cyborg face is what I click on. What about this twisty thing? Ah, that's it. Wow, the scrolling words are so smooth now. How do I make the walls higher again? Oh, that's too short. The good guys are gonna be able to jump over those walls. That'll do, I guess. Too bright. How about resolution? Dear God, not that resolution. Okay, escape, dungeon heart. Wow, the graphics must have been updated. Okay, build a treasure room before the unpleasant dude starts yelling at me. Often, in this game, when you encounter gold, usually find a pond of water nearby that can sort of throw the security of your dungeon off. There it goes. There's the pond. This is gonna take a while, so I'm gonna fast forward. I'll go and start shaping out spaces for other rooms. Gotta connect the dungeon portal to the dungeon. That's how creatures enter the dungeon. That's the dungeon so far. Okay, that notification is about the intruders approaching. You can see the white dots, and you can also see the exteriors of the walls get fortified as the humans try to find a weakness in the wall. I'm trying to see where I want the intruders to enter. I don't want them to enter too close to the heart because they can easily take that out and claim the dungeon. I made that sort of maze to throw them off if they manage to beat my defenses and start moving towards the heart. I pick up the minions of my dungeon and try to unload them on the enemy in one spot. That's why I spent time to fortify the area around the moat, so that there aren't any unexpected surprises. If you're still here, thanks for watching. Hope this brought back memories if you played this game before, and keep your interest if you haven't. Hopefully this video helps you if you get enough time to play a DOS game on Linux.